we have nine maps in the pool now. <laughs> I mean, that would be absolutely insane. Dev, we go to bank. It looks like Divers might be prepping for a square rush. I don't think they're prepping for it. I think they're already going to go straight in. Jack, we're even taking one of the back of the head. Does go down initially. Digital up close with the shotgun. Gets the first kill. Jack Ethan watching too. Up. And this rush completely unsuccessful by the Direwolves. They get shut down immediately. Uh, fortunately for the Chiefs, they just really had all of the angles on that push. Does have the advantage of time on his side and spots one over towards E. Can't land the shots though, but eventually will drop Boydy. Now it becomes winnable. Probably the play in the two versus one. You don't want to throw away a pick and compromise your position. Ethan's rotated elsewhere over towards top blue, but his aid won't be needed. Worthy to find that kill and Chiefs take the round. A player with such great potential from the Oceanic region. Skipped out on stage three to find a top team. He finds the bullet of Harambe to the head there. Loses out. Worthy falls to ED. Suddenly, Direwolves with a slight advantage. It's all down to digital in janitor. Looking to maybe find a pick top square, but unlikely to get away with that. Shut down immediately. Ooh. Digital falls as well. And Direwolves finally has to be careful of Bouncer, who's not watching the right angle. Oh. Never mind, he just switches over anyway. Oh, oh that's clean. Bouncer with a double. Divers will not go down without a fight. They still have, oh, I was going to say, a bit of control up above, but Souffle dismantled. Pika with the trade. Worthy and Elevators has not been cleared out. Nice movement, though, from Pika. Goes low, gets the crouch shot and headshot. Now it's a two versus two for the final execute. Bounce and hold. It needs to swing, get the trade, and does just that. But now in a one versus oh. one, takes a lot of damage. Oh. Pika clutches Pika. big for the Direwolves in the fourth round. So a minute 45 left in the round, only has one left. And it's Worthy who finds that opening pick. Well played, though, by Worthy. An opportunistic push. And talk about opportunism. Souffle pushes four, but Boydy shuts that down. Direwolves, in a couple of rounds so far on this map, early on in their attacks, have thrown away picks. However, they have been able to sometimes string together a comeback. So let's see what they can do on this round. Maybe it won't be. There's another one. Why not? Can he get double digits to open up the account here in the first half? No, Digital takes that. It's a flawless round, though. The first smoke out from Edie's perfect. Well, how about that? Maybe just get rid of the smoke. There's no more gas babes available. Suddenly only five. Plant being executed by Ethan. Souffle trying to find the angle, but doesn't. Harambe able to find Worthy, but that's still the plant in the air but ethan unfortunately taken down for the chiefs oh bouncing as well from down below we're now digital stranded in the one versus three yeah and and pika did get that elimination with the nitro cell by the way that stopped the plant from going down digital just up in flames under pressure an undesirable angle and he's been spotted out he decides to oh. swing blindly that's not the play smokes can go out courtesy of bouncing so digital can get this diffuser down Ooh. jackie Wu goes for the swing he's got the pings as well should be able oh. to win this headshot of the bounce and get oh. the second as well digital tries to no find it and he falls it's jackie woo jackie woo for the direwolves 15 seconds left. Shemeika launcher is done. So the gas babes, but now Diable's going to get on the guns anyway. Digital going to try and stick that diffuser down, but he's running out of people to really cover for him. The nitro cell from Pika falls. Sure, Bouncing gets a oh. double. Maybe salvages this round. Oh. Digital, he got off of it for a split second. Needs to stick it. Worthy Bouncing literally need to stand in his way. Gets pinged down. Souffle can't hit the shot. It's a 3k for Bouncing. Plant does go down. And now the Chiefs should surely win it unless Harambe gets a one versus three. Thinks about hitting the Oh, the diffuser. reposition. Have no they got an angle it. on this? They oh, do. They do. <laughs> oh, the reinforcements have arrived through Ethan. What an angle from Harambe. That may just work. It may just not. Ethan just gets into Janitor, finds that elimination, continues to watch and wait as the bodyguard for digital. Gets that plant down out of the hallway. The big 1v1. Jackie Wu wins it. ED follows up by taking out Boydie. And digital cannot withstand the onslaught of the dire walls. Digital falls off. I think the flames. Compromise his position as Jackie was picked back up. Digital attempts again, but he falls off once more. Falls off. Yokai. It's going to deny him as well, and he's got no idea looking away from it. And then pushing in is Pika anyway. This round has fallen away from the Chiefs. The map and the game has fallen away because Jackie Wu has been inspirational. This could very well be the year of the Wolf. The Dire Wolves start off APAC South with a win against the Chiefs. Yeah, okay, cool. Villa. I love Villa. Uh, one of my favorite maps. Wild card, not the best of starts. Yeah, just getting picked apart right now. Uh, Knight's just playing the, the basics pretty well. That's a oh. nice little peek from Moloska. That's uh, a bit of a rank specialist move. Juicy gets a second in the round by eliminating Pat. And just like that, the round's over. It's the Juicy show to start with here in the opening round. They have no idea. Oh, now they do. Oh, he missed. First shot's not great. Second shot. The response is great, and he gets to play inside of Astro. That's OJ. He gets absolutely taken down, and now for the count by Sage. Cairo got the, the the trade, but that's probably the round. I mean, Stig's going for the plant even, but Cairo actually gets a double. Vinny opens things, oh. and he gets a double too. 
to reconsider their options. Juicy pushes forward and is shut down by Cairo. Now it's up to Vinny and Pat. Vinny was good last time in this objective and now finds himself at Astro. Has to try and hold down the Brick's position as Sage goes for the plant. Juicy's got a good cross, but he can't quite win that engagement off the bat. Taken down low and Vinny pushes forward to try and capitalize oh. on that momentum. Oh, but he needs to reload. Oh, the pistol though comes in clutch. Pat's going for the counter defuse first. Vinny, is he holding the right angle? Yes, oh. he is. Vinny's here. Pat actually went down there. No, nothing from you guys. Fortunately, Maloska's there to uh, double oh, up. That's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for the swing. I was being patient. I was building mm -hmm. the suspense. But there's not really much suspense to build at the moment as Wildcard just roll that oh, ball. Maloska. And Milo gets three everywhere we go. Milo is there. And now Stiggs, one of the newer additions of the returning oh, member to this team. Milo! has been blown up. Downstairs, name from Vinny is absolutely Ooh. perfect. Off the backboard, straight into the head of Juicy. This is an absolute slaughter from Wildcard against the Knights. Pat just walks okay. into games, does get spotted and stopped by Josh. Very important position over towards Vault. Now that just puts a little bit of a spanner in the works. Quiz getting the elimination onto Milo. And there goes Vinny, a double up for Quiz. And OJ's got no time, no chance in red time. He falls. It's three in a row for Quiz to close out the round. And he's holding stairs as well as the bathroom. 25 seconds left. Oh, they have not cleared him out. Could have had the trigger discipline, but he just swings anyway after the first kill. Cairo still just comes up the stairs. Red time. Got to get that plant down for Pat. Cairo goes into trophy. He is that bodyguard watching and waiting for the swing from Sage. Collects his head. Seven and four. OJ from the other side gets rid of Quiz. And now Josh in a one versus three to try and avoid Avoid match point for wildcard. Position over towards Astro, but he can't hit the first. It's a big round from Cairo, that reposition over towards Astro. Nitrocell placed to eliminate Cairo. Just got to blow it up. And unfortunately, unable to do so. Quiz falls, so does Sticks. Cairo with a quick double, gets pretty much Astro to himself. Josh coming too late from stairs, but Juicy elsewhere gets rid of Milo. And again, Josh in a absolutely awful position to try and salvage a disaster. In a one versus two, Plant will go down from Vincere. Josh needs to get moving and at least get this 1v1 with Pat. He can't. The quick 180 turnaround. Pat gets the final kill. Wildcard get all three points against the Knights. What a way for them to begin their campaign in 2022. We've got Clubhouse so far. We have not seen any of the newer maps. Certainly going to make things harder for Last Dance now. As we tick into 45 seconds, he's going to find Mark on a freebie, though. That's Hermosa, sorry, finding that freebie. But Onagiri, he's managed to remain elusive and then Sapper backs it up with the C4. They love doing it. They love going with those cheeky positions. Onagiri with the infamous DMR, his weapon of choice. And he Ooh. finds a, a double. He's found his third on the round, or second or third. He's been going nuts, finally traded back puts it all on to sapper smg 11 in hand and he's found the first finds the second it's a 1v1 ricks can't get it done you can see sapper oh already used his c4 they don't really have anything for distance denial and here comes this execute in the 20 seconds wow told you's found three on the round it's just on Sapper and dch to go big sapper's done it before hasn't died yet this match that said his hope of doing so has quickly uh, escaped him, vanished before his eyes. DCH desperately trying to wield this suppressed 416 carbine in the 1v3, makes it a one on two. Ape now holding the cross and he's got the perfect line. A 5v3 could be enough to pull this across the line even without any significant hard breach. And Ape, oh no, that's a team kill. And now at the back of Arsenal on a Gary, he's got to step up and he does. Traded now, it's just DCH. They know exactly where he is and Tolji can finish off the round. It looks like he's gonna bail. No, he's gonna go deeper, it looks like, on that outline and he loses it to Hoven. In the 4v3, last dance, have to push on him. A smoke goes out, but what can they do with it? Mark on the flank upstairs, takes down Ricks, Hermosa and Hoven both find kills. However, it all comes down to a last ditch effort. Yeah, definitely so. This just in general feels like a much more well-rounded attack here oh, from Elevate. Sapper. Oh, Sapper. No, he's missed Toldy on the prone near the breach and that's uh, it's gonna cost him. Um, and now Dev for Elevate. I don't know, I was about to say it's falling apart. It's not though. Um, it's three versus three. 
Uh, it's non-stop though. Like, it is what non-stop. is happening? <laughs> and above, Rix is watching oh. through a vertical angle. Tolji's been on fire in this match. And now Mark has to clutch up the 1v2, but Tolji is still sitting pretty. The pre-fire comes through, but oh, Tolji yeah. breaks double digits. The flash has come through. He's fully blind, <laughs> but only for a moment. And ape down below. What's he managed to do? Sneaking into Oil Pit, and now it's all over Red Rover. Mr. Punch in a 1v3. Finds the first kill from the 1v4, but man, this just, just ain't gonna happen. And the shotgun packs a lot more of a punch than he expected. But they have what's needed to stall it out. Mr. Punch trying to push through, oh, no. but here it is. Elevate, push to site, Dev. Now I'm going to four versus two. It's on Hermosa and Rix. But as oh. I say that, Mr. Punch has found his 4K looking for the ace. Sapper goes down. Rix makes this winnable. Mr. Punch has to get that diffuser planted, but Onigiri is there. Match point still for the three points in their first match of APAC South. Four versus three for the last dance. But the new kid on the block, Mark, for Elevate. He's stepping up. Rix has got his number. Sapper and DCH are the last players standing. And they drop like flies. Oh. Sapper oh. tries his hardest, but no one but Tolji can win out the match. The last dance. They've taken down the reigning champions. We do head to Bank for a second time tonight. But there's just 30 seconds left, and this round is about to get explosive. Speakeasy and Jigsaw both find kills. A 4v2 now for Invictus Gaming. Producer Boom, though, can take down the star player from IG, but doesn't matter. They got three other star players ready to step up. Jigsaw, he also falls. Producer Boom's had a massive round so far, and he has to clutch the 1v2. Mentalist is there. They okay. already in baiting for this. Potentially get a stick at Dev. Is this even a bait? I don't think this is a bait, Raven. Red Alert, this is not a bait. He goes in, gets the plan down. Like Colas can manage to find the covering player of Speakeasy. But Jigsaw has found himself with two players. And now a very tall task as Hysterix tries to cover. But he's got three players to worry about. Nate, one HP and a dream at winning out this one versus four. He makes it a one versus two, oh. a one versus one, but he cannot walk into the flames. He will die. Oh, I Nate. can't believe it. Nate, there is no way he made the one V4. They're going to have to try and flush out this position so their execute can get moving. Got to win this one, Hysterics, and he backs himself in. Still one gas in hand, and he tosses it out, denying so much, as does that C4, the double for Hajime. Jigsaw's got to go massive, but he gets cleaned up. Mentalist has also managed to repel inside. A very dangerous position he has found, but Spacehead, and this is going to be a hopeless and desperate attempt. On for the spray is Spacehead. He finds the double. 15 seconds on for the execute. Still five players from Fury are alive. Live. Speakeasy looking to change that now as he finds a spray on through. Doesn't finish him off, but the rest of the team spring into action. Like Colas holding with the SMG 11, but Spacehead from Printer can support, and there is no hold. This is where we start to see the cost of that play from Mentalist. He's only got one gas left, which he's now used, and he doesn't have, well, anything going for him. He's been taken out. Relying on the rest of IG to play aggressively off the site. Hysterics has managed to flank up square and find two. Traded back by Dark. 15 seconds left. Is there a yokai? Still on the board for Nate. Nate goes for the spray. And it looks like he might be able to deny the plant. Nine seconds left. Still a two versus two. Nate just going to play time. Producer Boom has to find the yokai. He oh. does. And now with no time left, IG have no choice but to peek. It is now a one versus two on the plants. And Nate on the long angle manages to nail both kills with the pistol. It's all set up for him to do so. He doesn't realize perhaps the mentalist is on the long angle. He gets the better of him. They've got to clutch up. Jigsaw finds one going below now, but caught out. It's just Speakeasy left, and he has to find the player on the diffuser. He fakes it! No, he doesn't! My God! <laughs> like, Cole has baited me for a second there. He locks in that diffuser. Speakeasy's got to walk into a dead crossfire to win this one, Ooh. but he's so damn good! Speakeasy! 
the 4K and the clutch. Weaving back and forth now. Instead, Fury turned their oh. attentions to the site and don't realize that Nate is there with a welcoming party. Speakeasy manages to get himself back in position for a 2K, a 3K. He's gonna hit the deck in Kitchen. It's only just a matter of time. And there it is. Jigsaw swings, gets the pick, is counting into Invictus's favor. And Speakeasy oh, aggresses no. up. Dev, oh, he's ended on the double. But regardless, I feel like the damage is done. Mentalist still has a smoke, babe. This could be oh, all over okay. here, Dev. Yeah, I mean, Hachime just tries to send it, but Jigsaw's watching for that one. It's also going to come down to Producer Boom, who IG are very, very aware of. Sneaking on through Garage, he will be met. Oh my god, the one tap from Jigsaw. Traded on back, but Producer Boom is done for. IG, in their first match with the new roster, they find themselves a 7-3 victory over Fury. We'll move on to the... Results, the standings, I should say, as to where all these teams sit. No one won in OT, so it's going to be clean across the board. Jeez, that is a sight for sore eyes. If you are an host fan, that is a sight for sore eyes. I'll tell you what, Xenox.